this coming you by way of our first final fight of the evening. Before we get into the grand introductions, first let me call about both of our fighters into the ring. First, from Thailand, please welcome Anusom Tomalua. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the reigning, 
defending undefeated WBO Oriental Youth Super Lightweight Champion, John Ho. The first title fight of the day for the WBO Oriental Youth Super Lightweight Defense of Chan Ho Sang versus Thong Leong from uh, Thailand. Yeah, both of these guys, Rika, are very young. Uh, the champ, Chan Ho Sang, at 19 years old. They call him the Purge Boy and Anison Tong Luang. 18 years old, so both of these guys have got youth and vitality on their side. I'm quite, 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 I'm very quite impressive. Uh, they, they have uh, a lot of fights, uh, right. despite of their age. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of experience. It's very interesting to see what will manifest. These guys are both young, full of energy. They're both on massive winning streaks. It'll be interesting. Both teenagers. You don't get that very often you in fights, right. guys. Ben Chan Ho Song actually has eight wins, four of which are knockouts, while Tong Leong is actually uh, 12 wins, nine of which are KOs. Yeah, he had an unusual start to his career. His first fight he lost since then. 12 fights in a row, all win streak. Very impressive. It'll be interesting to see who can set the pace, back the other fighter up. I will not be quite surprised if it, this Tiang Leong is a former Muay Thai fighter. Right, I, right. I'm, I'm reading between his stand. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the fact he's from Thailand. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. exactly. For some reason, yeah. yeah. You, you, you get me there, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Start Muay Thai and transition. Oh, good. Oh, uh, wow. That was we see some great hit. Yeah, it was beautiful. It was awesome. Really nice counters. Oh. We've got action, guys. Yeah. We've got action. Nice one to combination by Tiong Liang. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think uh, Anderson's really got to be careful here, even though he's a fantastic fighter. It's a beautiful counter right hand by him. Uh, there's a tendency in Muay Thai fighters to keep their elbows kind of wide and, leave and be exactly. a little bit porous. Yeah. <laughs> one thing I really, really observe about this fight, both fighters are quite big. Exactly. Yeah, they're yeah. huge. They're tall, sinewy. Tong Leung actually has, uh, uh, sim they have similar heights, but Tong Leung has uh, long legs. Look at that. Yeah, that's a beautiful jam there by the time. And Song v being aggressive early on in this fight, trying to move in with that jab. This is really accurate pinpoint punching by the tie here. It goes mm -hmm. to the head and the body. I bet the most impressive thing thus far has been the challenger's jab. I, I think Tien Leong is beating Song to the punch in this initial round. Exactly. Beautiful counters, but... What's that? Is that a knockdown, guys? I is don't that think a so. knockdown? I think he got hit low. Oh, they're going to score it as a knockdown, I think. I think it was hit in the midsection. Not sure if it was the midsection mm -hmm. or we the testicles. <laughs> yeah. Right, because no, he's actually... The uh, yeah. <laughs> That's Pointing a low blow. I wonder if, if boxers uh, use the tie cap right now. Uh, <laughs> you're right. Uh, um, uh, I can't see for sure. Maybe Ben can, can look if they're... <laughs> <laughs> if I can look? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. If, if, if no, because uh, yeah. in, in M MMA, I usually... They they using the tie cap right now just to protect to protect it. Right. I don't know what uh, the boxer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure, guys. Usually that um that tight little small cup. We've got some chanting from the crowd. Right. But of course, uh, given the nature of that uh, incident, uh, the fighter is being given. Five minutes, if not, I'm not mistaken, to, Correct. to recover from that. Ample recovery time. Mm -hmm. I think they're almost about to resume action. Round number one. It's been a really competitive round number one. The champ, I'd say, Alvin, did you say the champ's probably forfeited this round thus far? And uh -huh. the tie's probably taken it? Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. No, a little more time. Maybe we'll cut back to the potential low blow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah it's a low blow. It's definitely a low blow. Ben, uh, uh, 
because oh, you're a, right there. because you're a former boxer, Ben. Uh, did you re- experience such a uh, incident like that? No, to be honest, guys, yeah. I actually gave a couple of them. I was actually wobbled once, and I gave a little low blow just oh. between you and me, guys. <laughs> but so, um, no, I never got hit low in. So, uh, I don't think ever, actually, yeah. neither in sparring, an amateur fight, or a professional mm. fight. So Ben, you are more a giver. Much more so the giver, yeah, yeah. The striker than the receiver in this case, yeah. Just yeah. a tidbit to you guys, it hurts as much for girls as it is for guys. Because I've been is that a, a receiver. Fact? Yeah, I've, been, I've received some low blows and the, the pain is Horrendous. unbearable, yeah. Fantastic topic we're on at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and it of is course, a part we of boxing. <laughs> After that, a uh, uh, small break. Uh, thirty minutes. Uh, thirty. Sorry, thirty seconds left. Twenty actually yeah. for this round. So the champ Chen Ho Sung or Purge Boy, as he's known at nineteen mm-hmm. years old, is going to look like he's going to come forward the whole fight, but he's got to be careful. Some really nice counter right hands and a beautiful right, like right up there right. by the tie. Uh, like oh. I said, this initial round, oh. Tang Liang is beating oh. him to the punch. Yeah, wow, that's good exchange. Beautiful. So I think mm. from that round one, guys, uh, at long range, surprisingly, the tie is more effective, but he's got to be much carefuler on the inside, especially when uh, Chen Ho Song bangs to the body. Exactly. Those were uh, some effective uh, short hooks thrown by uh, Song, actually, on the inside, right? Beautiful hooks. To the head and to the body by Song, yeah. but Tong Leong, like you, like what you said, Alvin was uh, countering pretty well. Look at that job, right, Ben? Oh. Some of the action from uh, the previous round. Uh, Number two of a 10 round fight for the world youth title. Really interesting round number one. I was impressed by the ties distance game, but then towards the end of the round, uh, the champ Chen Ho Song come back with some hellacious body shots, which I think took the round. What do you guys think? Who got round number one? For me, it actually uh, was a close round. Like mm. you said, it was a good start by the tie, but at the end, the, the forward pressure of Song is unmistakable actually how about you alvin i think uh that uh, low blow i uh, break the momentum of right. Tiong Leong. Yeah. Uh, he is doing doing very great on the initial round right after that uh, low blow i think he slow bu- slow up a little bit exactly yeah. so i think the chair uh, the champ here purge boy has found a gap or a mm-hmm. chink in the armor and i think he's going to be targeting close quarters hard left hooks to the liver every chance he can get I just want to ask uh, this thing with uh, a lot of uh, youth title uh, happening right now in, uh, in the world of boxing. What do you think about the progress uh, of having some numerous youth titles? Yeah, I think it's, uh, I, think it's uh, I mean, it's a, it's a very convoluted sport. You don't add too many titles and yeah, interim yeah, titles yeah. and all that. But at the same time, as you can see from these guys at 18 and 19, it gives young guys that are years away from a world title something to aim towards and really motivate them. So on the one hand, it complicates things, but on the other hand, mm-hmm. it really motivates young guys. Yeah. You are right. Giving, giving them a chance. Mm-hmm. It's a nice jab too from the tie. Impressed by the ties, actually, it, he, he counters oh. quite well at the back oh, foot. Oh, gosh. Yeah, he does counter really well. I noticed a beautiful counter right hand. And some really nice jabs. I'm just worried about his defense. That right elbow has really got to be glued in because the champ, Purge Boy, he's really banging hard to that li- the liver. I think uh, Tiang Liang is uh, feeling the pressure yeah. of up, up, up Song uh, on this round. Yeah, well, he's been hit hard in the liver and also in the balls. So he's definitely <laughs> yeah. feeling the pressure. I think we are with that low blow, I think Tiong Liang has never been the same yeah, uh, I totally on this fight. Agree. Yeah, really good point, Alvin. Yeah. He had momentum in round number one, and then yeah. in the, the last quarter of that round, it seems like he lost something. A flurry by Tong Yong. In the final minute of this round, uh, while Song uh, wrestles his way out. 
And, and, and Song is uh, gaining a ton of confidence right now. Right. Nice little counter left hook to the body there by the time. It's good to see him dig to the body as well. Mm-hmm. Ten round fight. Any hard shots to the body really paid oh, dividends. Oh, nice the fight left. Goes on. Beautiful right. left hook. I like how Song actually comes in with a strong jab. It's a jab with mean intentions, yeah. actually. Yeah, he actually reminds me a little bit different body style, but similar to Gennady Golovkin. Yeah, Stiff, yeah. hard jabs, and then really bangs on the inside of the mm-hmm. body. That's round number two over. season back. I think I I think uh, in my own opinion uh, I think uh, the Thai fighter must uh, fight in the distance and not not to brawl with a uh, U champion. Mm. Yeah, they're both tall, they're both lean, they both got muscles. But you can even see the body types right now. It looks like um, the Korean's the stronger fighter with the more authority in his punches. Uh, I I think if uh, this fight. Uh, become a distant fight, mm-hmm. uh, the Thailand uh, fighter has advantage, but if it will get an all-out brawl, Song uh, will definitely have the edge. Right. Mm. And maybe the Thai fighter can bring some more problems by actually moving out of uh, Song's uh, punching uh, range after each combination. Oh, oh nice one too. Whoa. That's a surprising change of yeah. uh, position. Beautiful, long, yeah, beautiful long range right hand there. Let's see if you can capitalize on some new momentum. There's still two minutes to go mm-hmm. on this round. I, I suddenly remember uh, our great senator Manny Pacquiao with that right. one-two combination. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I remember that first fight against Marquez. Yes. Beautiful yes. first round combinations. The, but the straight shots mm-hmm. dropped our Marquez. They bang hard to the body on the inside. But it looks like already Song's recovered. Purge Boy is ready to come mm-hmm. forward again. Exactly, but... What what Tong Leung uh, should do is beat him with speed mm. because that's what he had as an advantage yeah. in the beginning, right? Yeah, yeah, from the outside. It was such an elegant one-two there we saw mm. in that. It really, uh, really did some damage to Song. Let's see if he can generate some more momentum. As he moves his head and comes inside, throwing a couple of shots. There you go. This is good to see. Mm-hmm. Now he's gaining confidence. Yeah. I'm speaking up, Tong Leung. Mm-hmm. Beautiful uppers thrown by both boxers on the inside. It seems as though both fighters want to show us that they can fight on the inside as well. I think the inside was Song's domain until that beautiful one too and now they're both sort of uh, planting the ground and saying, no, I'm the stronger fighter. It's going to be interesting to see. Oh! Wow, beautiful. The left uppercut again. The tie having some serious success in this right. round. Mm-hmm. I think he's taking over this round. Mm. Exactly. He shouldn't try to outmuscle Song, but instead move away at the distance and throw those beautiful long punches. Yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing at the end of this round the replay. That was such a beautiful, precise one, too. Oh. That's a Beautiful hard body, body shot. Yes. By Song. Nice body work by Song. Like you said, Rika, it's really important for the tie to get on the back foot and try to establish yes, range yes. again. He had Where momentum with that beautiful one too, yeah. but uh, on the inside, uh, the Korean's just too strong. Interesting round. A stronger round for uh, Tong Yung right there. 
I think I think uh, he awakened that young uh, Thailander right now exactly. with that run around. What a very impressive round mm -hmm. number three. Again, uh, this is for the WBO Oriental Youth a Super Lightweight title. It's the defense of Chan Ho Song against uh, Tong Leung of Thailand. Oh. Uh, this is round number four of a 10 round bout. As we can see in the slow-mos, the action replay, this has been back and forth this whole fight. Really good. Interesting, interesting use of uh, distance by both boxers. It's really a matter of, uh, like what they said, boxing is a game of inches. So it's, Round four. it's really who uses distance well to their advantage. Totally, yeah, yeah. The three primary scoring components in a fight, number one, offense, number two, def defense, number right. three, ring generalship. Yes, you can control yes. the geography within the fight. Very, very well said there, Ben. Yes. We'll see what, oh, there's that counter right hand, narrowly misses. And a good way actually to educate the fans, right, Alvin, that boxing isn't just the, the number of punches thrown. This is this is a cerebral game. It's just, it's pure science, mm. actually. Yeah, violent chess, as they call right. it. Mm. <laughs> Both fighters dig to the body there. Very interesting to see if uh, either of these fighters can generate some momentum and really take over in this, the fourth round of a 10-round fight. And, and and the younger song is uh, trying uh, to make this fight a little bit dirtier. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Yeah, he is the stronger fighter. Yeah. He may not be as precise, but he's definitely the stronger fighter. Both of them uh, try to destroy their body. Yeah. Right. Like you said, Rico, it's just not the Thai's game. Tong Luang has got to box from distance. Obviously, it's harder said, yes. uh, harder done than said. But uh, mm -hmm. if he can generate some some distance. And pot shot, he'll be well served. I mean, I, I, I think that Thai shouldn't try to mm. out muscle a strong uh, fight, uh, a strong uh, come forward boxer like Song. Yeah. I think he's uh, doing the. The good thing on the right now, round number four. Mm -hmm. uh, in round number four, uh, I mean in round number three. In round number oh. four. Uh, oh, my. Oh, hand. no. There oh, that's go. it. Oh, no. I thought that was ruled. No, it's ruled a low blow again. Again. Uh, but, yeah. but in my point of view, it's like a side to the body. Mm -hmm. uh, I just don't know what the referee will uh, right. uh, call down, it. Yeah, he's down on his back, laid out. This is not a good sign for mm -hmm. Ta. Tao Luang, Tong Luang. So hopefully the referee takes a point from a uh, song after that. Oh, That's oh the boy. second brutal low it, blow. It, yeah, it's it really damaging too. Low. Bang! Is it is, is it below the belt line? Yeah, that was. I think yeah. it was somewhere between on oh. and below. Yeah, oh, yeah. brutal. I bet, but yeah, that was below. Around uh, the crotch uh, area, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. a little bit to the <laughs> side. You gotta wonder, guys. I actually uh, <laughs> volunteered some information that uh, when one of my opponents had some momentum, I, uh, I shot a little bit low. I wonder after he was seriously rocked in round number mm -hmm. three if he's done that intentionally. Because yes. he's obviously changed the momentum, he's laid right. out the tire. But but uh, in my point of view, it's like a right inside the belly, like yeah. that. We'll see yeah, it a like slower. that. Oh. It's not a little bit. It's not actually so low. Mm -hmm. But again, of course, our it's our referee's um, uh, decision. I just hope uh, this uh, very very good fight don't be stopped. Yeah, with mm -hmm. it's not uh, ruin the crowd oh, yeah. into it. We're all into it. Uh, it's been back and forth. Both guys have been seriously hurt. Let's hope it's not ruined by a low-ish or a low blow. Mm -hmm. I think the the, the rules is a uh, the injured fighter will be given a five-minute break, right. yeah, and after like that, like said before, yeah, five and the referee minutes. will make a decision about that matter. Mm. Well, he looks seriously hurt. This has mm -hmm. been like upwards of three minutes. Oh, here we go, oh. guys. We're back on. We are back. 
But according to the body language, he, he <laughs> it's certainly something that uh, yeah. he... Uh, well, like you pointed out in the first round, Alvin, uh, the tie was doing really well. Yeah. And yeah, then he, yeah. the momentum yeah. suddenly changed. What's going to happen now after that? That's 10 times as bad as the first one. I think um, a song was given a warning. Warning, warning. Mm. It's not enough. Mm. Yeah. A warning's not enough after mm. that much efficacy. Uh, that was a really bad shot, and it's done some serious damage to the tie. Hopefully, he can recover. You oh, right. beautiful. Wow. Nice they counter. Yeah, yeah counter. they both countered with hard right hands there. We Maybe are, it's uh, yeah. angered, the, uh, angered the tie. <laughs> Anderson looks like he's digging his feet in. He's going to try to hurt uh, Song after that. We are oh. certainly seeing some of the best youths. Oh. <laughs> and uh, they are below 20, guys. I, I'm sensing Song will not stop uh, banging the bodies of uh, mm. uh, uh, Tung Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, what a body by Song. Mm -hmm. Everyone heard that shot. That's the biggest body shot of the night thus oh. far. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not liking the body language thus far of Anderson. He's really been hurt by those, uh, both the body punches and the low right. blow. Right now, we can see Song really wearing out uh, Anu Son Tong Leong with body shots and uh, with the inside uh, work. So, uh, Rika, Alvin, we know what's being said in uh, the Korean Songs Corner. Keep moving your head. Get on. Bang the body. What do you think? Yep, like Kiep was able to tie Jethro up, turn him around, smother him. Yeah. Hopefully we can see the tie Anderson do that in this round. He doesn't need to be on the inside like you said, Rika, and trade hard shots because it's not to his advantage. They start off at long range as they always do, but it's only uh, only a matter of time, I think, before Song gets back to the inside and they trade mid-range and, and, and low uh, close-range shots. I, I think um, I, I'm a believer that uh, this full fighter will become a better fighter uh, one day because I don't see Song doing more pressure just to corner uh, Tiong Liang. I think he will be more effective in that way. That's only my opinion. Right. No, I agree, yeah. That's a good point, Alvin. As for Tong Yong, I think uh, he should try to make a Song overcommit because he's moving in with those heavy shots. I mean, you would want to him to get off balance and counter and move the momentum or swing the momentum to your side. Yeah, that's, I think that's one of the trappings of the Muay Thai style. He's got his hands up high, which right. is great, protecting his head. But you've got to deviate. You've got to stick your left hand out in front sometimes and you've got to feint. I think uh, if the Thai Anderson can... Uh, deviate a little more from his game plan and start to make uh, Song guess as opposed to just walk in with impunity then we'll see uh, Anderson get a little more momentum but at we this point as we see Anderson's back in the corner and Song's just banging to the head and banging to the body there's yes. another one you could sense that uh, Tiang Leong is trying to protect his body too yeah yeah with that elbow uh, tucked yeah, in yes. really really tight mm his body like I mentioned before the third scoring criteria is controlling the ring and at this point Song is really controlling exactly. the ring exactly unfortunately Talong's just going back to the ropes from corner to corner right now he's asking the big questions and Tong Yong uh, is content answering and, and Tong Yong has, has a lesser activity on, on this fight right. I, I mean in this round yeah, he is. 
and his body language. He's just not showing as much snap in his punches or confidence mm -hmm. in his body language either. Though he does land a good little right uppercut to the solar plexus. There we go. This is the tail of the fight. Oh, beautiful right uppercut there from the Ty Anderson. Snaps Song's head back. A little bit of wrestling from both guys. Nice to see. 15 seconds left in round number five. Good jab there by the tie. You are right, uh, guys. Song Yong should move out if he's cornered on the ropes. He needs to get out and not just move on a straight line. Totally, totally. Like we saw with Kiep in the last fight. Just wrap him up. He doesn't need to stay on the inside and uh, prove how much he is. Time up and uh, reposition himself back out in the middle of the ring. down entering into the second half of this fight for a youth world title we've got the tie versus the Korean it's been a pretty even match it just seems like the harder more hurtful shots have been primarily landed by song purge boy but but uh, in my opinion uh, the Thai uh, Tung Liang uh, Masa Masa uh, trying to gain uh, some advantage uh, heading to the round number six have that surge of urgency uh, to pile up some uh, round Exactly. Make it a little more difficult for Song to come to the inside, actually. Mm. Yeah, it's always harder said than done. Nice yeah. little lead left hook yeah. there. Nice. A beautiful combination. Beautiful by Tong <laughs> Yong. Just like I said it to make a, <laughs> <laughs> to have that uh, urgency. Yeah, you right. predicted yeah. it. Yeah. Tong Lung comes back with some good combinations. Then he's got to get back, like you said, Riki. Get back at long range. Mm -hmm. uh, show his lead hand. Stick it out. Bring in some feints and uh, establish distance and maintain distance. Good job there by Song. There you go. More of that actually, right? Mm. Maybe that that punch that uh, that Tiong Liang uh, um, misses uh, uh, the, the the job. He is not executing it very well. Maybe it's that uh, the context from all the the Thai Muay Thai fights and the Thai right. culture. He mm -hmm. just won't tie him up. He just says, exactly. let's bang. You want to get on the inside, I'll bang. Mm -hmm. It's not to his advantage. And I think he's the more rangy fighter. He must, yeah. uh, he must uh, uh, flick the jab every now and then. Oh, exactly. nice. There's a couple of good single shots. A hard left hook and then a nice flush right hand to the head. Tong Luang lands a couple of good shots. Beautiful left hand to the body. Though Song caught that one. Wow. wow. These are hard shots, hard <laughs> shots, guys. Uh, cer certainly, Tong Yong is very durable to have uh, outlasted <laughs> yeah. so I much. <laughs> I don't want to be on the receiving end of that exactly. body shot, my song. Exactly. And I like how a Song uses his elbow, actually. That's ring generalship. You're trying to bring Tong Yong where you want him to be. Yeah. Shepherding, in a sense. Exactly. Yeah. We've got one minute to go in round number six of what's been a really good back and forth battle. I think Song's had the momentum the majority of the fight, but the hardest shot was actually landed ironically by Tong Long. Tong Long has uh, taken advantage of the uh, first minute of the round number six, but, but Song, I think, uh, had the advantage on the tail end of this round. Different, di right. di di uh, hard to score this fight. Exactly. Oh. Hard shots. There nice little seems, lead run here. Yeah, it seems that Tong Yong does his best oh. work when he he moves first, actually, and doesn't wait. Oh, that's not a good sign. Right. That? Yeah, there's no knockdown there, but still, that's not a good sign. That's not a good, a good jab, sign. though, by the tie. Ooh, snapped back is the head of Tong Yong right there. 
End of round number six in what's been a pretty good back and forth battle with Song carrying the majority of the fight and hard body shots. Seven. We've got four rounds to go, guys, for this Youth World title at the Grand Ho Tramp Strip. VSP Promotions. Let's see if the Thai can uh, convert more offense to the head and the body of his opponent. Because thus far, he's done really well, but he, he's just, uh, I think he's behind on the scorecards at this point. This, this uh, last four round could could be the decider of this fight. Mm. If I was in the Thai's corner, I'd tell Anderson, you need to plant your feet in the middle of the ring, throw hard, long shots. If you're going to go backwards, make sure it's not to the ropes. Keep turning laterally. Yes. As like, uh, like what he's doing now, actually. Yeah, before. <laughs> there you go. Maybe he heard us. <laughs> Circling out before he gets spin to the ropes. Mm. Yeah, the uh, nice little left hook there. Not a lot of weight into it, but a nice little flush shot. I'd also say, uh, Anison, you've got to be first. Don't just move backwards and create range. Strike first. As you can see there, Song the Korean's able to land first most of the time, and it's just not going to benefit Anison. He's got to sh shoot the jab first, make sure he scores. But I think uh, Song is quite impressive cutting the ring uh, on this exactly. round. Yeah, like I said before, I see shades of Gennady Golovkin in him. That is, yeah, yeah. You are right. The power, the, yeah. the cutting of the ring, those devastating body yeah, shots. Yeah, brutal body shots. He's just got that wide stance and that stalking kind of menace to him. He bangs the body hard. I think he's got the tie in trouble here. Anderson looking a little bit worse for wear. I, I think I really think a song is a hurting uh, Anison in the body shots. <laughs> I think it's very safe to say. <laughs> it's yeah, he's hurt him a lot. It's not that the secret anymore. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. oh, there's another one. And actually, it, it kind of wears uh, a Song Leung down when a uh, song does that. He sort of like tries to wrestle him and tries to 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 pin him down. Oh, pin totally. His head down. Yeah, he bangs to the body and then he careens forward, slumps on top right. of him. So he's supporting the weight of the Korean, so it's twice as taxing. We see it looks like uh, Song's able to walk forward here with impunity. You can see in that lead right hand there by Anderson, uh, it looks like his energy's faded quite a bit. And he's uh, starting oh. to maul uh, Tiong Seung on this round. He maul, exactly. yeah. yeah. He's starting to maul him a little bit. Yeah, if I was Song now, the Korean, the defending champion, I'd really step on the gas. I probably do the same on uh, what he done uh, on this round. So this for me guys is the first round where I've seen no snap or authority on any of the ties punches. Yes. Right. He's taking a hold on his, mm. his punches. Look at him as they walk back to the corner you can see the body language of the tie. He's uh, his head slumped over his shoulders the hunch. See there, uh, song straight second the tie along the round ropes. eight. Uh, 
A very animated crowd here Seconds in out. the Grand Ho Trama for Fortunes of War. We are here for the WBO Oriental Youth Super Lightweight Title Defense of Chan Ho Sang against Anusana Tong Yong. Oh. Ben and Rika, uh, quite impressive venue. <laughs> right. uh, Grand Ho, mm -hmm. uh, Trump and uh, Resort and Casino. And such a and we have a sizable crowd here. They are enjoying. They're very very responsive to what's happening in front of us. They're cheering. They're shouting. Yeah, everyone's into this. Uh, everyone's into this event. Everyone's into this fight. As I look around the room, this is a beautiful ballroom, guys. Yes, We're glued yes. to the action. Mm -hmm. But uh, if they cut to the parameters right. of the uh, of the little arena or the ballroom, it's beautiful in here. Exactly, a beautiful venue for s for an explosive yeah. event. And I'm seeing uh, the, the people um, enjoying their good food exactly. and a great boxing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to try some of that food soon, maybe exactly. after this. Food and <laughs> boxing. What more do you want? Here in the Grand Ho Tram. Wow, beautiful oh. hook by Tong Yong. There you go, entangled again. And uh, you guys, what do you think in these uh, scenarios when they were in there entangled? Who has the advantage? Song is uh, having right? that advantage. Uh, like oh. uh, Ben is uh, oh. previous dead. Oh. oh boy. Is that a head clash, guys? I think that's a head clash. Oh, he's getting a count, but oh, he's adamant. Yeah, yes. the tie's um. getting a count, but he's adamant. That was the head clash. And uh, yeah, in regards to your question, it's definitely to Song's advantage when mm -hmm. they tangle on the inside. If Song needed any more confidence mm -hmm. or any more of a booster in his energy, he just got it with a knockdown, which I think is a result of a head clash. Really, really, Song is uh, <laughs> see, seeing that, that he's the bigger fight either, stronger fight exactly. either on this fight. All power punches by Song. Rarely does he put yeah. out a punch. That <laughs> yeah, that's a really good point. Right? That isn't meant to hurt Tong Yung. And we've heard it too. I've heard so many shots in this fight that have mm -hmm. echoed off the ribs of the tie. He's really exactly. digging into the body. He's just uh, He's got the wider back. He just looks a little bit heavier. And even He's exactly. a year older, but he looks like, mm -hmm. an, he looks like an older guy. It looks like a man versus mm. a teenager, actually, even though there's only a year between them. How ironic, uh, both both either uh, 18 in and 19 years right. old. So. Mm. What were you doing when you were 19 <laughs> years old? Yeah, not <laughs> fighting for a youth world <laughs> title, right? Right. The crowd's into it. The mm. round's almost over. Song just mauling his opponent along the ropes there. Wow. A dominant round uh, by uh, Chan Ho Song, who g actually scored a knockdown in that round. Head clash. Seconds out. Seconds out. Here we go, championship rounds, round nine. Round, uh, round uh, nine. There we go, the tie comes out with a little more venom, a lead left hook and then a hard one too after a slap on the bum by his coach. Hopefully that can um, propel him to throw more offense. I think uh, with that slap, uh, he, he wake, <laughs> wake up uh, Tiong Liang right now. It looks like it, though we've seen this in multiple rounds thus far. He starts really well, Anderson, but... Uh, by the midpoint, he's on the back foot and he's getting pushed against the ropes by the relentless strength mm -hmm. of Song. 
maybe the corner of Tiong Liang uh, told Bing. Oh, oh, I think that's going to be the second knockdown. Uh, he's hurt now, guys. To the body again, Ben. Yeah. To the body. There's no disputing that one. Yeah. That was definitely a body shot. He gamely rises, Anderson. But uh, that's really going to take it out of me. He's been down in this fight yes. now four times. Twice from a legend. Oh, oh again. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh. And it's out. That's it. Beautifully timed the right. What an impressive uh, ninth round. TKO Song. for Song. Yeah, Song defends his world youth title with an emphatic ninth round body shot based victory. has now come to an end and I have your official time. After one minute and one second of round number nine, your referee Surat Sokrachang has called a halt to the contest, declaring your winner by way of KO victory, still undefeated and still WBO Oriental Youth Super Lightweight Champion, Paul Song.